Hey guys, welcome to the new channel. So I was on YouTube the other day and I was watching some, some drag racing going on. The six lane drag racing uh, videos that they have online which are actually really entertaining. So I thought to myself, I want to do that. Um, I went on Amazon and on eBay and stuff and I looked at the price for some of those and they were going for like $100. 90 at the very least and even used are going for a lot of money. So I figured, well, I want to go drag racing but I don't want to spend that much money. So this is what I found on Amazon. This was $14.99. Uh, this is the rooftop garage uh, race set. This is part of the action series. Ages uh, 4 to 10 or up, way up. And we actually have a bunch of this track that we plan to add to the, the rooftop garage. So apart from that, let me show you what, what's in it. So what I want to open up first is this, this track builder system, straight track. It comes with uh, four pieces of 11.8 inch track. So that's about four feet per package. We have enough to make a drag strip, a uh, quarter, uh, scale quarter mile drag strip uh, for two lanes. And so that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so let's talk about what a scale quarter mile actually means, all right? So we have a Hot Wheels car, which is pretty much gonna be the standard for all of our calculations. This is 164 scale, which means that if you were to line up 64 of these cars, it should equal the length and I guess the height too of a real car. So we know that we know that a quarter mile is 1320 feet. And we're gonna deal with imperial units because I'm an American and we're in America. Feet divided by 64, which is the scale of our car. That gives us approximately, approximately 20 feet. So that means that we need about 20 feet of 64th scale track to get a quarter mile. Now this is the, the standard uh, straight track that you buy from the stores. I got each um, each package for about two bucks at the nearest store. And this is almost a foot. As you can see, this is actually gonna measure out to be more like 11.8 uh, inches, but you know, 11.8 rounds up to about 12 inches and you get one foot. Approximately. So that means that we need approximately 20 of these pieces to equal one quarter mile drag length track. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox one of these or unpackage it, I guess. So this comes with four pieces each track. As I'll show you right now. This is actually pretty cool because it's pretty inexpensive. You can just buy a bunch of this stuff for as little as you would want to buy. Just to add the camera there. And it comes with a couple of connectors. It comes with four connectors and four pieces of straight track. Again, each one is approximately a foot. And you can connect these all into one giant uh, track if you want to. Or mix with other tracks and sets to create your own custom Hot Wheels tracks, which is actually pretty awesome, I think. And pretty simple to see how that works there. It's pretty awesome too. If you want, to, if you want to take it apart, this has this have a button where you can just kind of click that there, and the whole thing kind of comes apart, which is pretty great. All right, so that's that's the first part of that. But what I really want to focus on is this right here. This is what's going to make the whole track happen. This is going to be it. So this is the rooftop race garage playset thing that we've kind of talked talked about already. It comes with a free car, so if you have one. Um, well, you have another one in there. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Yeah. Let's get this out of the way. Just kind of opens up like that. All right, so this is what you get in the box. So you get this, the actual racetrack. I think it folds, and it does. Indeed it does. Folds out like that. You have your your instructions. It looks like some stickers and oh, your car. Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out of there. However you can. Doesn't look like it'll be as easy as the rest of the track. That's for sure. There it is, this is the uh, muscle tone, I think. That's right. 
put that right there. Alright. So. Really all there is to it is just, uh, this is where you start. These flags are going to control the cars to give you a fair start on each car. And then this is going to be the side of the, the track that actually wins. This is going to be the side of the track that actually lets you know who wins. And then this is going to be the fair start side. That's about it. And then to the rest of this, I'm pretty sure you can connect some more track. Yep. Right at the end of here. And this is how we're, we're going to make the whole track actually be a scale quarter mile track. That should be great. All right, so now we're gonna get to actually building the track. I'll have my brother help me out. One thing to note too though, is if you do wanna use this, this set here to actually uh, do the drag race with, when you extend it outwards, you want this finish line to be all the way at the very end of the track. And that way you're not just racing until here and the rest of it's just dead space. So we're gonna go ahead and re remove this piece of the track and then we're gonna uh, fix it to the track at the very end um, right now. So let's get to it. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to find a way to stick this onto the end of the track. That way we can actually determine the winner when we're racing. Um, and so that is what we're gonna do right now. So I put a piece of tape on the bottom. It's not working very well yet. We'll find something that works better. So we're going to make this happen like this and we'll put this at the end of the track to complete our scale quarter mile race track. Alright so this is the end of the track. We just we just put a bunch of tape on there and it kind of held so we're going to hope that that's going to be good enough. Apart from that if you guys have any better ideas let me know. Alright so this is going to be it. This is going to be what the finished part looks like. It's just a bunch of tape and the finish line and we're going to attach that to our quarter mile scale drag strip and that will be the end of this build there you go awesome all right so now we can get to racing <laughs> all right so we have muscle tone versus brandon's focus rs let's go All right, so clearly we need more, more power. We need more height. So we're gonna go ahead and readjust this to see how far or how high we should get this to be. All right, so now we just have this on a chair. Hopefully that'll work out a little bit better. They have more power, more potential energy. And we'll see how it goes. Ready, let's go. Muscle tone with that horsepower. What a race. All right, so now it's gonna be my Chevelle SS Root Beer Edition versus Brandon's uh... Gotham City PD Dodge Charger RT. All right, let's open them. Nice. nice. Pretty great, this is open. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Cars that are the winners, so let's see which one of them becomes king. Muscle Tone versus Chevelle SS. Ruby edition. Alright, ready, set, go. Oh! And Muscle Tone for the white dot. Rep. Congratulations to the champion of the world. All right guys, hopefully you guys liked the video. Um, this is our budget quarter mile drag race track. I think in total it was like uh, 15 for the actual drag race kit. And then at $2 for four feet um, a track. As you can tell, it's honestly not that expensive. It's a lot more expensive to buy the six, six lane drag race track. And honestly, you get the same amount of fun. Hopefully you liked this video because uh, you're gonna see more of this one, which is our current champion, the Rupier Chevelle SS. If this video gets about, uh, like three likes, then we're gonna go ahead and race these cars off of our actual rooftop because this is the rooftop garage set after all. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe.